Fred Film Radio, I'm Matt Micucci from the 73rd Venice Film Festival. This year, Fred Film Radio is the official online radio station of the uh, Venice Film Festival, and I'm very pleased to be joined by the director and actor of Sao Jorge. Sao Jorge. Uh, I'm, I'm joined by director Marco Martins and uh, actor Nuno Lopez. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Uh, first of all, the question that I want to ask you is, I was told that you guys collaborated on this film quite actively. Uh, tell us a little bit about your collaboration. Yeah, we, we, we collaborated before. We met in my uh, first film, it was called Alice. And since then we have been working together, doing plays and uh, in other projects. And this is our second film together. And uh, the first idea of the film came from, actually from Nuno. He wanted to do a film about boxing, which I didn't find so interesting. But since I didn't have other projects, I started to investigate about boxing. And uh, and we did it that together and with uh, also with uh, with the ri uh, with other writers every, and uh, and uh, so we started an investigation about boxing clubs and who was those guys who do boxing uh, non professional because in Portugal there is no professional boxing it's yeah. all, all no professional and. Uh, we had this cliche that all of them, you know, are big guys and work, you know, as security guards or private security or something like that. And we found out that some of them were debt collectors. They were collecting debts in some companies that in the period of the crisis, in the middle, this was like 2011, 2012. So it's, it was the, the peak of the crisis and some, some of them were debt collectors. And, and that I find really interesting. And I, you know, I uh, I, I start developing the the script from yeah. there. Then uh, about that time we found out that we had a movie to tell because it's it's the story of a, a man who has a lot of debts, and to fight them he has to become a debt collector, and and that that was the point I think that both of us we we realized okay. There's a movie here, and, and the, this is a good metaphor to talk about the cries and the authority in Portugal at that time. And the character that you play has a very, very strong personality. Now, how, how do you get into a character like that? Well, all the research, we did it together, and, and, and uh, we wanted to talk about this, this, um, this character that, that is almost in, a, in hell, in this, in this place where, because most there was a, a thing that we heard a lot in the crisis years it was that we were living um with more money that we could that than we could have at that time and it was not true because in those kinds of neighborhoods and in those kind of uh, those kind of town and and uh, in the suburbs of lisbon people live really hard lives and we wanted to talk about that and how can a honest man uh uh, with a family and with the, the desire to have a family can 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 survive in in a place like that and especially in a moment like uh, uh, like we were passing during the crisis uh, and also there was this good metaphor be of because Europe was collecting Br Brussels were co were collecting our debts at the time so it was a, a and we we wanted to talk about that also, and how how can an honest man and a, and and a, a guy with morals in the end survive in a place like this in a time like this? Yeah, we mentioned that before the interview. This guy is seems to be the only moral person in a town that seems to have forgotten about morality, and because this film is takes inspiration from something that really happened, realism is very important in this film. Uh, how did you try to achieve that in the style of the film itself of South? Sure. Yeah, uh, well, it, it all starts from research because it's it was like a very poor uh, uh, communities. Like it's like we're talking about the the, the people who are unemployed or who lives on social security. So people who live with less than 500 euros a month. So and and that's something that we, we didn't see t that much in the news. Well, the film is about that people, you know, basically. So we start, you know, going to those neighborhoods, talking to those people, because th there was not, not something that I could talk without research and everything. I, I, it's a, for me, it 
was like it was when my first film about the, the, the this this uh, this uh, these people. So it was a big 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 research, and uh, as the research was developing, uh, I started to understand that I, I I really want those people in the in the film. I, I yeah, <laughs> so I, I didn't want like actors to play most of them. Yeah, so That's very interesting, and they and they were good in that film. So yeah, they, they, they were. Yeah, because they were they were doing what what they were, it was the same kind of conversation we had. You know, so it's, yeah. uh, it's the same. It's not scripted it's not at all. It's not it's scripted. Most of it is improvisation. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. How do you, do you like working with improvisation? Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot. Uh, my, actually, my my work as an as an actor in the film. The, the big the big um, difficulty was to seem like one of them yeah. you know and that that was part of the work and the preparation to be with them to spend like two years in boxing clubs and 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 spending place a, a lot of time with them in the neighborhoods but I think the 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 most important thing for us was not to impose a speech to those people you know not to give them lines to say but uh, actually, most of the lines they they, they they would say we could never written we yeah, we, yeah. we could never. It's impossible to write that because it's so political and so that is very personal, you, yeah. you know. So but, and uh, but it, in fact, that's what we heard in the neighborhood. Yeah. So well, when they say I don't know, like uh, most of the people, what, where should I go to work? Because I win so. I don't, if I go to work, I win like 400 euros, and uh, if I have social security, I I, I have you know, three fifty, three fifty or five hundred. Yeah. That's something I could not write. Yeah. It's, it's like it's something that they say by by themselves. You know, they're yeah. talking about their life. The, f the great thing <laughs> about it is that even though it is set in a specific place, it also uh, even this too, the realism and the improvised yeah. lines makes it very universal as yeah. well which yeah. I think works wonderfully for the film uh, unfortunately I, I believe that's all the time that we have uh, left thank but you. it was a real great pleasure talking with you, thank, uh, you. thank you very much for joining us thank you very much thanks a lot and this is Fred Film Radio the Festival Insider